In this video we want to look at simple arrays as a part of the design strategy uh, sectioning and we start with um, drawing a plane and uh, I just uh, draw a plane here in 3D Studio Max that's 70 by 70 centimeters and uh, on the plane we add something like the shell modifier uh, the advantage of this method, uh, not only building a box, is that we always can change the dimension of the plane. And so we now have an inner amount of uh, one centimeter and an outer amount of one centimeter. And this uh, little box, we want to array and experiment a little bit with the array function, which could be also a function of other 3D tools and other programs. Before we can use the array function, I obviously have to select our object and I will extend uh, the, uh, the viewport uh, perspective to full screen so we can better play uh, with our uh, array function and uh, the array functions we can select under tools and array. And what we see uh, in this um, Window, window is our menu for the array function and uh, the nice thing about this menu is that we have a preview function and uh, in this part x, y and z we can um, uh, adjust the dimensions uh, of the array. I for example go for, um, for an array of uh, array distance of 4 centimeters and uh, in this area we can um, adjust um, the count of the array and the nice thing is the preview function. If I go to preview, I can um, see already uh, uh, what's happening, for example, with an array count of uh, 40 and um, a distance of uh, 4 centimeters, or for example, I change it to 8 centimeters. I can uh, change uh, the dimensions in terms of uh, rotation, for example, I can. Uh, rotate it into uh, that, uh, uh, the Z direction or pol uh, for example in the Y direction or also really nice I can scale it and now I scale uh, the whole, uh, whole thing a little bit in uh, the Y direction and a little bit into the, the Z direction so I can already do a lot. Important in my uh, example is that I use the instance tool because when I use the instance tool I can change parameters of the objects and all the param parameters will be changed on all the other objects because I use them as an instance. We now have a look again why I used first uh, at the beginning our shell modifier and secondly why I used the instant function. Uh, this is our array and uh, the every little uh, object uh, in my way has uh, the shell modifier it's uh, in bold letters because now you can see that this is an instance and uh, this means if I for example change the inner amount of one object for example uh, the third one then you can see that they all change um, uh, change the dimensions of uh, of the inner amount and obviously also of the outer amount and this means uh, that you can still change the parameters for all objects because they all have uh, this uh, modifier. You can also afterwards add another modifier for example like um, um, like uh, the uh, mesh smooth modifier and uh, with uh, three iterations you can see that you can make really nice uh, round uh, objects around this and uh, change again uh, the inner amount and the outer amount and have uh, and afterwards you have uh, these kind of uh, objects and uh, you can control these parameters still for all for all the objects. Here on the left side you can see another example where I just changed uh, uh, rotation uh, scale and uh, the amount in x, y and z direction and uh, it's completely different um, uh, different dimensions. You can still uh, also change uh, the dimensions of, uh, of uh, the plane and have a lot of possibilities uh, in terms of modifying it after setting up uh, the array.